That was live. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I know you can't see me. Um, it's Bradley from Haunting Nights. Um, we're here at the uh, Jack the Ripper Museum in uh, the East End of London. I know you guys can't see me very well. Paul will come over and put a torch next to me so you can see me. I see I've got the lovely Paul here as well. We've got some of our lovely guests that are downstairs in the actual mortuary area um, of the building. We thought we'd come up and we'd give you guys the opportunity to do some interactive uh, ghost hunting with us really, Paul, isn't it? Yeah, um, we thought yeah. we'd bring you up here. So I'm gonna pass you over now and you're gonna be able to see me and Paul, okay? So. The light, the light will stay on so you can see us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're live now? Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, we've um, just come back. We've done a little bit of a uh, tour around of the, the river hotspots, the sites that are still uh, Mike Square. We've been up there. We've yeah. had a look down Commercial Street as well. We've been up to the Ten Bells. We've had a good look round. And we popped to the Tower of London just to look. We had a little pop to the yeah. Tower of London, which is only a couple of minutes walk away from where we are now. So we've had a quick look and uh, you know, some of the ghost stories that are connected to uh, the tower as well. We have a little look at Tower Bridge. Didn't yeah, we? yeah. So, yeah. So we're at the uh, the Jack the Ripper building. We're sort of is, are we in the, the sort of heart of Whitechapel now? We're most yeah. definitely in the heart yeah. of the, the, the Ripper ter territory now. We're we're right in one of the locations. We know that one of the murder sites actually happened down the. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you see. We've got um, uh, a REM pod. Uh, just popped into the doorway there, can't be affected by phones, it's just put a, a field around itself and something's obviously just come in and, well, something's interrupted the, the field just as we started to talk. It's been sat there for about 10 minutes, not moved, has it? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're, as we said, we're in, right in the heart of the Ripper country, um, uh, centre of Whitechapel. Um, We've got the Ripper building for the night. Um, I've been up and down these stairs so many times. Six floors? Six floors? Six floors. Yeah. Yeah, six, six floors of um, a house um, that would have been here in the days of um, the reign of Jack the Ripper. Um, so the history dating back to um, the very, very early 1800s. Um, along that, it's set up um, with all sort of Ripper artifacts. Some of the genuine articles are in here from. Um, the, the days of the Ripper, the policeman's handcuffs, his yeah. whistle. Which we will show you. Yeah. We're going to have a little tour. Okay. Trungeon. Trungeon yeah. and handcuffs as well. Yeah. Um, to connected to the actual uh, constable that found Catherine Eddowes in Mitre Square, not too far away from where we are now. His family actually get, kept hold of the artefacts um, as a, a momentum um, of, of their family member uh, being connected in the Metropolitan Police. And they actually uh, donated it to, the, to this lovely museum for him to actually... Um, have an exhibition built around. This actual room is actually set up from Miller's Court, which is where um, Mary Kelly was actually discovered um, the next morning after the brutal, uh, her brutal, uh, brutal mutilation, uh, murder, um, in a room set up exactly like you guys can see now as well. Jukre. With the little sound effects of the tube going <laughs> off in the, in the background as well. So really, really atmospheric. Um, area building as well in the most really haunted part of the uh, east end yeah to be honest yeah so okay as probably said we've got some of our guest ourselves and they're on they're on the bottom floor bottom so they are, is they one, are one below floor uh, yeah. no lower ground basement one, yeah basement uh, which is, is is set up as a as a mortuary in there um yeah when you go in there it's got a definitely it's a cold feel to it and yeah spooky atmosphere down there so we've left the guests down there and they're doing some um Investigation techniques are doing sort of watch and waits with gadgets at the moment. So I will we'll sort of go down there in a little bit, see what they've We will not going. cut this feed. This feed is going to live now for you know a good chunk of time that we've got to spend with you guys and take you around this lovely location, talk about some of the energy spirits, alleged ghosts that are connected to the, to this part of the, uh, the, the, the of London as well. So we're really sort of looking forward to it. As you can see, activity is already happening um, while we're stood here with different activity equipment that has been going off within the background. All I can say personally is it's a really, really spooky um, building. It's one of the weirdest places that I've probably ever been to to investigate, having the different levels of you know um, paranormal activity that is alleged supposed to happen here, especially up here. We've had guests already refuse to come up to this area and, and really don't like it. 
in when we had to walk around before. So we decided to obviously straight away. This is up. Stopped. Mm, okay. And we decided straight away to come up to this point, bringing you guys up um, and see what, what we could get, really. What we have got set up, I don't know, Dave, if you just pan around, we just go to the top of the stairs. Um, we've got um, some IR cameras, so you can see one there, looking into this room where we are. If you just pan around, there's one at the bottom of the stairs. But we've got sort of cameras, four cameras. Uh, yeah, four cameras, um, sort of focused on different, different areas. We've got a TV screen downstairs, so probably a little bit later on, we're going to spend 10 minutes down there, just um, viewing what's happening on the, on the screens as they sort of... Uh, Investigations going on. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Just quickly before we carry on, I want to obviously take you guys back to 1888, which would have been um, the start of the, the autumn of terror that they had in the East End of London with the, uh, the Jack the Ripper murders, Whitechapel murders that, that happened in this, uh, this area. We don't want to lose the fact that five people, five ladies, women, that lost their lives during this story, and we're not here to promote any side of that um, sort of story of it we are here mainly you know for the historic side of things um, as well you know this is why we pick the most haunted uh, stories in history to bring you guys closer um, to the story and the activity that does happen so we will you know um, massively have a, a amount of respect for the people that are connected with this story as well um, so, and especially with the uh, the energies and spirits that were in the building so we will be very very respectful there'll be none of this come on and running around falling on the floor or anything dead respectful as i said we won't forget the lovely the lovely souls that did lose their life in this this story as well um, mary kelly ali chapman um, elizabeth stride Catherine eddowes and um, the other lovely lovely lady the name completely dis is that Annie, did I say Annie Chapman? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's literally right in front of me. <laughs> so I've missed that one. Yeah. Um, um, Catherine Adams got that one. Elizabeth. Mary. Mary Nichols. That's the last one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Mary Nichols. So yeah. we'll not I've just said we will not forget them, mm. and I just have. Um, so I will not forget those lovely ladies that did lose their lives. But this is the alleged room. This is what exactly would look like in Miller's Court when the, the landlord actually turned up to uh, to actually receive board um, for the, the week or the month at that time. A little tiny window that would have been here as well. That actually uh, uh, had an argument a couple of days before, allegedly, and the window got smashed and it was actually covered up with a tiny little piece of cloth. This is the tiny little bit of cloth that the landlord actually took out to look into the room as well. And, and sadly, um, it's something that stayed with him for the rest of his life. Um, and it, I believe that he never spoke about it um, after that moment as well. She was discovered um, in the morning, laid down on the bed. Can't go into the gruesome facts, but I'm sure you guys will be able to look it up yourself on Google, however, and just see what an absolute sort of atrocity, uh, you know, a horrendous crime it was, um, even back in 1888. You know, even where we are now, it's it, back in 88, it's a massive sort of run down, poverty stricken area, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. you know, massively a, a sad slums. Sort of, yes, yeah. Slums, yeah. depressing, and even fantastic. So I'll leave you to tell this story. Massive story connected with the actual road, the actual um, location of where we are as well. Yeah, we're right. We're at on Cable Street, and back back in uh, the, the sort of early nineteen uh, hundreds, uh, Cable Street was not a place to to be seen day day or night. Famous for the Cable Street riots. Again, it's something to to Google. But I, just just in this very sort of street corner that we're in now, a lot of sort of uh, unease deaths. Uh, and again, sort of, as Bradley said, we're sort of in what was um, the, the Whitechapel slums, not a great place to be. You can just imagine it at this, at this time of night now, sort of really smog, um, sort of a lot of people sort of rushing gaslit. around trying to get home, all, all gaslit. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to uh, imagine it. But actually being in these rooms that are, are made up at exactly where at the time, it does help sort of bring it all back. You know? it's, uh, it, allegedly, Cable Street was the most dangerous street in London yeah. in 1888. You couldn't walk down it, go to any point at all in the night time without getting approached, mugged, attacked, anything like that. The most dangerous street is right outside um, where we are. So we wanted to, as I said, have a little walk around, talk about some of the energy spirits. If you guys see anything, if you guys sense anything, while we're walking around, if you'd like us to stay in an area 
a little bit longer, please feel free to tell us and please feel free to write a comment and come on, say hello. Please share the video as much as you guys possibly can. Tell your friends to share it because obviously we want you guys to visit this place. We want you to come back with us um, when we do this next year. This is our first time at this location. So we're gonna have a little bit of a walk around. So as you walk, uh, they will, uh, our lovely cameraman in the background will zoom around so you guys can see the room. I would say, especially in this area, there is a massive feeling um, of a gentleman energy being in this part of the building, okay? Um, it depends, because every spirit is different. Every medium, every psychic you're going to see is different. You might get a psychic that's quite you know, relaxed and quite chilled out. You may get one that's, that's different and, and, and might sense and, and pick up different things as well. So I would say with the gentleman, he isn't always the nicest um, of souls. Sometimes you're probably gonna get a lot more noises, bangs, footsteps are all heard. Um, around this area uh, massively. I probably at least go back to about the 1920s with this, this gentleman being here and around. I also feel that he would have massively um, been a, 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 you know when they say like a man's man and, and yeah. very much women being in there, no disrespect but especially back in old times, different mindset, they would, he would have had that mindset of women know their place and yeah. know their area and they, 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 what they should be doing. It's a very, very old fashioned sort of way. So it wouldn't surprise me, if, especially up here, females feel massively um, intimidated, feeling of, of, of maybe even getting touched, prodded. The name Peter comes strongly in with this gentleman as well, but I don't want to make out that he would have, you know, been any connection with Jack the Ripper or anything like that. I massively feel he's part of this building and he's around, I know the league. It's almost like he's saying, he, not Cocker, it's either Cooper, Cocker, that, that C is massively important uh, with his last name as well. And I actually feel that he would have passed in this building and that is why his energy is still here. You know, I see, you know those old dungarees, that, not dungarees, that they used to wear smart trousers with the- Braces. Braces, braces yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, the braces. That's <coughs> how I see him with a, right. just, just a vest on underneath. So you, you think he's so here? Most definitely a part of this building. He's, as I said, he massively back to the 1920s when he would have been around and here. So it's the noise, it's the sound. Um, but I know massively we need to go downstairs because that's where the energy's been drawn. That's We've just actually had, uh, Anne Maria's just said three orbs have just flown past you two. So I've just actually felt, I, obviously I don't normally get to, but I've actually felt like, almost like a shiv, you know, like the hairs on your arms and stuff. Really? I've actually, and, and my neck, when you were talking about this gentleman, I actually felt that, yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if he's around us, where we are now. You know, I have massively heart pains and everything that would have been there. So it's like a very, very quick passing that would have come over. Um, okay, this gentleman as well. Should we call out? I'm yeah. Really just dead quickly. Do you want to use the name, Peter? No, I, I would yeah. massively, you know, just, just go with, if there's anyone there, you can use the name, not, it's just... Okay, I'll just, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to call out, guys, um, just see if we get anything while we're stood here. Okay. <laughs> Grandpa just went off then, yeah. Okay, if there's any spirits here with us now, can you try and make yourself known to us? Can you try and make a noise? Probably sensing a gentleman uh, with the name of Peter, if that means anything to anybody with us. There's an object um, just by the door. Um, it has been um, sounded a couple of times. You're more than welcome to step close to it. Peter, if you're with us or any of Wow, us sorry, I've just seen an orb go straight across here, right in front of me. Good. On the floor? Oh yeah, like on the floor, yeah. Is it on camera? It's, 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 I watched it on camera, yeah. So Guys, if any of you saw that, please feel free to comment and say that you've, you've seen it. I actually saw it. Did you see it? Yeah, it was down. It was here somewhere. This side there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's quite interesting. Okay, calling out to the gentleman called Peter. Wow, that's got yeah. an awful lot. Thank you, Peter. If that's you affecting that little box, that's, that's perfect. Thank you so much. We'd really, really like you to try and make a noise for us, maybe try and show us where you are in this room. Wow, 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand here, the other side of this box, so I get the box and yourselves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Whoa, big orb just got shot straight up this way. Up the doorway. That big. Can you hear us? Can you copy this sound? Do you want us to leave? Okay. Should we have the one sound? Yeah. Um, and we'll come up. We'll come back up later on, but as I said, we've got six floors to show you. This is floor one. A little bit of a wander down. You're right with the camera, yeah, mate? Yeah, I'm fine, mate. Okay, so we're going through the building now. The flight of stairs, massively, massively um, haunted, allegedly. <coughs> to uh, uh, the actual setup of the office of the, the Metropolitan Police, Whitechapel Police, um, that would have been around. Really, really sort of uh, fantastic and uh, fascinating as well, um, artefacts that they've got laid around. Um, so please, these are the original tombs, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, just while we're over here. Um, the Ripper's fourth victim, Catherine Eddowes, was killed in Mitre Square. She was actually found um, by a police constable, PC Watkins, Watkins um, on the actual night itself. These are the actual handcuffs, truncheon, whistle and notepad that that PC Watkins had on his persons that night. Um, so these are the actual whistle um, and handcuffs and truncheon, same whistle that he would have blown the night to notify um, people that he's actually found the body of uh, Catherine Eddowes the fifth, fourth victim of the Jack the Ripper. There's some of us, they just saw an orb in the doorway, that must have been yeah. always coming this through. This was the lovely lady, Catherine Eddowes, that you guys can see. Lovely, lovely sweetheart, and the, the five other lovely ladies, Mary Ann, Nicole, Martha Tad, Tadrum, Tabrum, I should say. Um, we're not, uh, no one, it's the most um, thing about Jack the Ripper, no one knows everything about it. Obviously, he's never um, identified, no one knows, everyone has theories, ideas. Um, of who it could be and what they could have uh, done. Martha Tavern was one of them. I believe that she was found before the autumn of terror started. She was um, killed on the 7th of August. The first alleged Jack the Ripper um, actual victim was the 31st of August, which was uh, Mary Ann Nichols. And look how good I look like while I'm looking at it and, and I'm looking at it at the same sort of time. So it's absolutely perfect. This is right in front of me. Um, so yeah, she was found, bless her. Um, as well, and then that was the, the, the start of the whole story. There's um, a little picture of the, the PC Watkins as well. So that was the gentleman there who found Catherine Eddowes. So they've set up this room um, to look just like the police station would have been, and it's another, another uh, haunted room, and I believe that when you go into the Jack the Ripper Museum, there is a mannequin there as well, so please feel free to, to have a little chat with them. We have just had somebody said, is this actually realistic or not? So we can actually confirm this is real and it's live as it's happening. This yeah. is all happening live. Um, unfortunately, um, we are stood in the dark in one of the most haunted parts um, of the area. So nothing's fake, nothing's set up. It's literally just the three of us that are around. The other team are on the very, very bottom floor. There's no one else um, close to where we are. Um, so if you do see... Sorry, carry on. Just to, because they saw a door, an orb in the doorway, I'm just going to stand in the doorway yeah, between. Very, very interactive part of um, the building as well, and it's one of the areas that I would say, no matter where you go in the building, you're going to pick up some activity, you're going to feel the sense and stuff. In this room, it feels completely different. So when you talk about medium society, it's feeling um, residual energy more than anything. That's exactly how this room feels to me. So it's more of a quickness um, more than anything. And I know different mediums and psychics talk about spiritual energy. Um, in the room and being quick and, and that tends to point out as it being active and especially probably within the last 24 hours that spirit and energy has been um, in where we are at this moment. I would probably put that down a lot more to a female energy that's probably seen on the stairs in this room as well. So she's 
massively, um, probably have I put this a part of the building, um, not so much, but more um, of a, a residual sort of playback more yeah. than, than an active sort of soul. Um, so a rerun, if you want to go through your stone tape theory, yeah. Your stone yeah. tape theory? Yeah. Are you going to do the stone tape I was, I was waiting for you. Oh, to do yeah. Your stone tape theory. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I think we come back in. For those that have just joined us, um, yeah, hold on to you guys. We're at the, uh, the Ripper building in the heart of Whitechapel. Um, Tanya Never, it's, it's 20 past 10, 20 past 10. Um, Haunted Nights is ever bringing you closer to the, 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 the hauntings and the ghost of the, uh, of the UK. Um, yeah, smack back in the, in the middle of Whitechapel, um, in the Ripper building, uh, we've, we've got six floors. Um, tonight, we've got, we just finished up on the top floor, uh, we're down now, um, second floor down. Um, the team and the other guests are down in the basement, which is set up as a mortuary. Each room that we go in uh, is a replica scene from um, the days of the Ripper. Upstairs was um, the, the bedroom scene, Mary Kelly's, Mary Kelly's room, as it was. Um, this is uh, set up as the police station. Um, and as Bradley just said, some of the original um, artifacts from PC Watkins, just in the, the display over there, his notebook. Is trunged. The actual whistle be blown on the, on the discovery of the body, um, and um, is handcuffs in there? Yeah, yeah. handcuffs as well. We've just got. Sorry, guys. We've just got um, someone saying we're about size. So obviously, we've just confirmed where we yeah, are. We're in the Jack Ripper Museum in the, uh, the East End of London. We're just off Commercial Street. Please, would you like to come in, uh, Dave? I just want to show him this there quickly. Okay. It's the desk that's set out. These are the map um, of the Jack the Ripper. Uh, about the uh, alleged victims, Elizabeth Stride, which is just around the corner on Burnham Street um, as well. Let me find where we are on this map. Annie Chapman, which was 29 Hamber Street, which uh, she was found on the 8th of September. Mary Ann Nichols, which was found up there as well on Box Row. Um, we are Mary Kelly. Oh, there you are, sweetheart. There you are, darling. Where's Catherine Eddowes? Catherine Eddowes was there. Okay, I would say we are roughly about there-ish. So just off centre. Just off there-ish. We've also got Claire Malley asks, um, I think. so we do ghost hunts everywhere in the UK, so can you guys just uh, mention a couple of the ghost hunts you've, locations you've got coming up? Okay. Pendle Hill, coming up. <clears throat> um, Halloween, we spent on Pendle Hill on a fantastic night um, doing the, the, uh, the Pendle Walking with Witches. Uh, next Friday night, we're back to the back of Pendle Hill doing the full overnight, our exclusive location, the old farmhouse, uh, now the, the, the Barney Mow, um, right in the heart of Pendle, rich country. We go to New Church in Pendle, um, we go back to the, the inn and we do uh, lots of investigation there for the night. We're connected with the Pendle story, uh, the, the story of the Lancashire witches, yeah. um, massively, massively famous story. We've got um, Edinburgh Vaults, which Edinburgh we do Vaults. Burke and Hare, yeah. um, interactive ghost walk before and we also uh, do the Edinburgh vaults that tie in with that. We've got SS Discovery, which is up in Dundee. Jedburgh Mass Jail. Massive ship. Got yeah. Jedburgh Jail. I've, got a I've never done a ship in all these years. I've, never done a ship. I've, I've actually done it. I've, I've done the SS Discovery. Yeah. R R is it R R S? R yeah. R S Discovery. Yeah. Um, that we've got up in Dundee. Another fantastic location. Um, Kill the Castle. Kill the Castle, which is up in Northumberland. Connections with William Wallace. Right in the heart of right William, William Wallace, Wallace, Wallace country. country. Yeah. We also do the Black Eyed Children, which is up in Cannock, the Birmingham area. A massive story connection with children that have actually been photographed, especially in 2017. Front page newspaper of children that have been actually seen um, in this certain area. We do that as well. The Matthew Hopkins Ghost Hunt, which is down in Essex. My interactive. Favorite. My, my favourite. My favourite. My favorite. <laughs> favorite as well. yeah. yeah, Matthew Hopkins. Yeah, what a character. So much history connected yeah. to Manitory Mystery. And we're down there next next Saturday. Saturday. We're, so down, we're down. Tickets still available. Um, and we've got the, the Pendle Witch just before. Uh, Howarth Ghost Hunt. Three and one um, Ghost Hunt that night. We've got three locations all in the, the uh, lovely, lovely village of Howarth up in West Yorkshire. Really, really haunted location, all connected with the Bronte sisters. Rotherham, the Poltergeist. Rotherham, Poltergeist, House and the Haunted, haunted Museum. Haunted Museum, Not Rotherham. Anybody that's into haunted artifacts, such as haunted dolls, death masks, where you can actually pick them up and touch them, so interact with them. Yeah, we're looking forward to that one. Um, sleep over. Sleep over. Sleeping over. Well, I can tell you next year that we've got um, a, a lovely location in Puck. Is it Puckley? 
Yeah, Puckley Woods. Puckley Woods, so we'll be going Woods. to. Epping um, Forest. Epping Forest. Mm -hmm. And Pem is it Pembury? Pembury. Pembury <coughs> South Wales. So we're looking at. So we are honestly here, there, and everywhere. Ryecroft Hall in Manchester. Yeah. Fulford. Newark, 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 Newark Castle. Newark Castle. Up in there, massive connections with Robin Hood. Um, John, uh, Key John. Um, yeah, so we are here, there, and everywhere. We're down in Cornwall at some point. Yeah, we're Wellington. Been, down in Wellington, Boston Castle. Yeah, so we are here, there, and everywhere. Anyway. Keep your questions coming in because we're going to take you down another floor now, if that's all right. Uh, yeah, so, just, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Should we go down? Should we go down? Go have a look at that little room, if that's all right. Just while we're, we're going down, as Bradley said, <laughs> that first, that just joined us, this is our first, first, first outing to the, the River Museum, so we'll be back in the Heart of Whitechapel. We will be back next year many, many times in a fantastic location. Um, and we've been on the interactive ghost tour around. Yeah, we've the, been on the tour doing the, doing the, the known Ripper sites that are available to us. Um, just right in the heart of um, London. We're just a brief walk away from the Tower of London, which we'll be popping and have a quick look. Um, but yeah, we're here next year, uh, right throughout 2020. And probably correct me if I'm wrong, Halloween 2020. We are the Ripper Museum. Um, Welcome into the drawing room. As I said to you, many, many people never um, have had a chance to come to this lo lovely location. So you must come. It's open during the day as well, most days during the week. So you must be able to come in. Lovely, lovely place. Um, but as I said before, no one knows who Jack the Ripper was. Uh, people have theories, ideas of what they believe. In this room, it would have allegedly been his um, city room, as they say. Because no one knows, they don't know. But they've set it up with different ideas. It's really clever um, how they've done it, really. They've left little clues around the room to try and make your own. Obviously, there's many different, many, many different suspects that were implicated into it. And this is what this room is dedicated to. So actually people, so I was reading the comments. Yeah, sorry. Um, actually people, what they, they believe Jack the Ripper to be and who he was and who was around. See, there's many things in here that all look um, massively. Do you think it looks right? I think Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm allowed, they said I'm allowed to mess with stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now, just to answer, someone said, do you actually get the ghosts out of the building or do you just leave them alone? <clears throat> so. We're not here to get them out, we're here to maybe to try and interact with them uh, with, with various methods. We use methods dating back to the Victorian, the, the Victorian times, such as the tap on CS twice for now, um, something that the Fox sisters uh, introduced. The three sisters from America. Um, we do use the Ouija board. Um, we do table tipping. We do glass divination. We do dowsing. I'm sure it looks someone stood in that doorway. <laughs> you do get a sense of being watched. Or especially more than ever. Yeah. In this room than I have in any of the other rooms that we've been to. I think this room is massively um, active. So you probably are going to get a lot of orbs and things. No matter where you go in this building, I think you always sort of get the... Well, I'm, doing, I'm going to stand in this corner, then obviously yeah. I can scan from you two to the yeah. doorway if we see anything in the doorway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, all, all methods have got some to the Victorian methods right through to the modern day stuff with um, infrared cameras that we've got set up tonight. Um, we've got art REM pods, uh, K2 meters, EDI meters, as well as sort of trigger, tr trigger objects. Um, so yeah, the full spectrum of, of ghost hunting. So we're not here to, to clear out the ghosts, we're here to sort of communicate with them. They want to be here, so we sort of come in, we are respectful. Um, if we can get some activity from them, all well and good. Um, we close down the night and we, we go home. So that's, that's basically what we do during, during our events. I'll just have a quick scan around the room, just to the doorway, so people can kind of get a layout of the room here. Just ask, would anyone like us to call out while we're in this room? Uh, someone's just asked if the, we'd um, if there's a green light on the ceiling. Yeah, it is actually uh, something yeah, to do with right. safety. So yeah, if you're seeing a green light on the ceiling, we're all seeing that. That's uh, sure quite normal. Some of you lovely, lovely people that we're speaking to now have children. Um, I've got a little one as well, and they're exactly that fear of having children around. Sounds, noises happens. Um, any of you, Duke. Yeah. Any of you that will know, um, will massively know that they have their own free spirits. They have their own minds. They they know this and that massively feels like it in this room as well and um, even though sometimes it's a massive feeling of you know a little child it's like they're just darting around and running away especially um, from this room so it's almost like they come in have a look you notice I said they instead of him or she, yeah they, they. so it, it wouldn't surprise me if there was at least two children spiritually that would be in this building connecting a lot 
with uh, that soul of a little boy being in this building as well. Um, I massively call him like Tom or Toby. He's, you know, that T.O. that stands out. And the young girl I'd call Alice. Um, really, really good soul. But to be fair, it's like I know that they're not around, they're listening. So you might get footsteps bangs from outside okay. and then we need to sort of follow them and find out why they're here and why they're around. Because in this room, that it probably is that feeling of that, that, that tall, dark gentleman that I mentioned at the top coming into this room. So you're gonna get feelings of cold breezes, pushes. It's almost like this, this Peter's this house. Yeah, you know, the, the, the kids, they would, they would run. They would be scared and they, they wouldn't want to be anywhere near them. So it's like they're two different time frames um, as well. Even the lady in the middle, massively different time frames as we're sort of going through. So if you guys want us to call out, just shout and we'll, we'll give a little call out. We can't turn, or probably can actually, um, turn the one light off um, and this green light. The, the I think the green light's a safety light. The green light will always be on. Yeah, um, but it is complete darkness. If I just cover this for you, that's exactly what we can see. Nothing, absolute darkness um, from where we I'm are. just going to turn the light, touch the light because you put your hand over it. So yeah. um, just touch the, the light itself. So it is pretty dark. Pitch darkness is all we can see in here as well. So you're going to get that feeling. Should we have a little wander? Yeah. Keep going around. So I hope everyone's all right tonight. I hope hopefully that you guys are going to join us at some point um, during, during the, uh, see this. I promise you, this is all set up because um, the, actually uh, the Sun newspaper came out years after the Jack the Ripper um, incidents happened, and they actually believed it to be a gentleman called Water, Water Snicket, who actually drew an artist, um, actually a, a German-born artist, that uh, used to paint pictures, and he, he drew a lot on, and painted a lot about the actual story that happened. So even I believe some of his family um, reported it to be him. I personally don't believe it, but. That's the interesting thing about Jack the Ripper, isn't it? Everyone has their fear. Even, yeah, coming down to uh, that mason gink, yeah. you know, the, the stone masons, the, the, yeah, that is a brilliant view, look at that. When you just catch that hat and yeah, coat, just as you walk around, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's an eerie sort of a, a feeling, describe it. And even back in the old East End of London, you know, these houses, and no disrespect to the buildings, it's lovely, but they would have been slummed. They, Many, many people would have yeah. lived in here, up and down. Many, many people would have died in this building. It is huge. And you imagine this would have just been one room to one family and they would have had many, many people, sometimes up to 50, 60 in one building, um, such as this. So just think about people, lives and everything. Pop just through this building. We're on the second floor. Yeah, should we go down? Yeah. Yeah, after you, sir. Yeah. You've got the torch. Yeah. Let's yeah. yeah. okay, so have a little wander down now. I'm going to go into one of the other rooms, take you down, show you. Do you want to stop here? Yeah. Stop here? yeah. So when we were talking... Which bit's that? Oh, that's the bit in there. When we were talking about children um, being in here, I was talking about that young soul. Um, the, uh, you know, I'd probably go with Toby, because you know, that's screaming out. Do you know why uh, sometimes, especially psychic medium, they, they pop little pictures in your ear and that's what you tend to go with. So that's what I'd say with him. So please use that name um, during the night. And I feel massively like this area, these stairs is, is where he's seen, heard, playing. So sort of, you know, really sort of dark hair um, to him, a little bowl cut that would be on him. Very, very polite, but shy. So I do believe that he would be active within this building. Um, do you know when they have like really sort of scruffy hands and everything yeah. like that? Is, is, I don't want to disrespect them, but that's just how I, see it like very very scruffy and dirty and you know you just want to sort of take over a mother room and look after them and you know and as a parent and sort of feeling would um, i'm just trying to think because there is obviously a story with children connected to the river thames in the mud yeah, well i'm getting really hot and, and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it was you know medically a condition not nothing sinister to pass in or anything like that at all and maybe even you know when they used to took consumption tuberculosis mm. that would have yeah. killed a lot a lot of people um, within this area so i feel do you hear that? Mm. Do you hear that on the camera? That, that was that downstairs? I thought it was right there. Oh, did you? Yeah, um, I thought it was on the stairs. <laughs> um, tap. I heard that. Do you hear that tap? Yeah. Is there anyone there? Can you give us a sign, please? Can you make a noise? If there's any souls, any energies, children, a gentleman, a lady, can you hear us? 
I'm going to sit down on the floor because if there's a little boy, hopefully I might catch him at the right height. Yeah, yeah. Can you see us? Can you come and talk to us? Did you still live here? If you can just hear, <clears throat> sorry, if you can just hear voices in the distance, we are getting down towards the basement area where the the, uh, the team and the guests are. So there's just in the distance, you will hear them calling out in a little bit. But yeah. Did you see a black shape then? Yeah. At the Tell doorway. Saw it. I saw a black Tell shape at that doorway. It. Yeah. I don't know if I got it on camera, but up at that doorway, I saw a black shape. I'm sure I did. I'm positive I did. Tell me someone. Someone saw put that. what was that? Tell me someone saw uh, that on camera. I don't actually know what that was. I don't know if anybody saw that. We saw it with our eyes. I'm not sure if the camera's pointing the right way or not, but I definitely saw it out of the corner of my eye. Without a shadow of a doubt. Right where Paul is at the minute. Was it, um, it was like at the door behind where Paul is, you know, the yeah. doorway. That's where I saw it, sort of on, on the left-hand side of the doorway. Was it tall, so you're... Did... Uh, I don't know. I just... I'm probably about four, three, four feet. Not not as tall as me. I'm, what, five, six, something like that. wasn't as tall as me, but it was definitely like a black shape. I'm sure I saw it, like a black shadow. Okay, we were talking about um, a, little, a little boy called Toby. I think there's a female presence on the stairs, according to Claire. So maybe it's Alice. For, ask for a female as well. Yeah, maybe it's Alice. Alice, are you here with us? Can we hear you walking? You don't have to be afraid. Did you used to live here? Is this your home? Come and say hello. Can you try and make a noise like this? There's a lady here. Could you give us a noise, please? I saw a shadow figure near Paul. That's quite interesting. I don't know if we got that on Jesus camera. Jesus Christ. We need to go in there. Do you not hear that, then? Come down this way. Do you not hear that in here, then? Like a sh noise. Do you not hear that in here, then? What? I don't know what it was. It was like a massive crack. I don't know if any of you heard that live, then. Please, yeah. Please message, uh, let us know if you heard that. It was a big crap that came from um, in this room. Now this is actually a mock-up of Mitre Square where Catherine Eddowes um, was actually found. We've actually just been up um, to the uh, Mitre Square, the actual uh, location, which isn't a million miles away from where we are now. We do that as a part of our interactive tour. Um, so this is, as I said, the mock-up for it as well. There's actually the famous words that were washed away um, from the crime scene by Sir Charles Warren um, when he actually turned up um, around the area it was the, the many mi can you hear that? yeah that flash there was a flash then on screen please tell me so Julie whoever's lit watching please tell me someone saw a flash then on the screen when Paul opened the door just the red light flashing above there, but I don't it wasn't think. red. It was it was like a camera flash. I saw that. I, I I I was behind the screen, so I saw it when it flashed. Leave the door partially open. Yeah. Okay, I'll go stand there a corner. Yeah. Okay, so that's let me find out where we are now. Sorry, man. There's footsteps. Did you hear it? I heard I it. I heard something. Footsteps. Someone put saw it. Somebody saw the flash. See? Don't do the flash. There we are. Is that where we are? That's where we are. Okay. Elizabeth Stride was found up this street here. That's where we are, down there. Okay. We've just been across over here to uh, Mighty Square. So that's how far we've walked. All the way down there, so there. It's not a million miles away, is it? So Elizabeth Stride's not far from us, so that's um, Duckard's Passage, isn't it? That's where she was found. Hmm, that's mm. better. So what do you guys think? That's me moving the door. Yeah, that's all normal, guys, you find that. So what we've done, we've managed to turn the lamp off. It's obviously this... You can't actually see, but above Brad's head, there's a lamp, uh, and there's one here as well. We've actually managed to turn them off, so it is really dark. If I actually covered up the um, the torchlight, it would be, be completely black. 
Does any energy spirits that are around us now, can you please make a noise or a sound? Don't mean you any harm. Could you copy this noise? I don't know if they are actual wind snuffles. It sounds bizarre, but it looks like an owl. Just as you were talking, it was like, ooh, like a hoot, but I can't see the being an owl. Come on, if there's someone here, we don't mean you any harm, could you come and talk to us? Please tell me someone heard that. That noise. Please yeah, I heard tell that, me yeah. Someone heard that on camera. It was that scream. I go and check, go and check. Please tell me someone heard that. Shout. Hello? Please tell me someone heard that. Right, I'm waiting for someone to say if they heard it or not. Hey guys, but, uh, if, anyone, heard if anyone heard anything then, please could you tell us? Because that was as clear as anything. That's what I heard, but further, almost like further away yeah. before. Yeah. That's what I was checking with these real windows. Somebody put, I heard it. Did you hear that? Oh, there's an orb just gone straight across the screen from left to right. Did you hear that? I heard that noise as well. It was like a cry. Yeah. So we're not jumping on everything. We're just letting you know that we hear it and what we want you to experience it and hear it. Um, as well, we were the only ones. We'll, we'll show you how far the, the other group are in the bottom of the basement. Um, at the moment, we're going to go down. We're two floors above them. Someone said, I don't know if there's a bug flying or there's orbs. Now, I've not actually seen any bugs. I have seen some orbs actually while I'm watching this. Um, I haven't actually seen any bugs. No, I'm picking up the, they're not even picking up the dust. There's not even any dust. dust. You know, you see, you yeah. absorb, We've got a new watcher, Joanna Cox. Hello, Joanna Cox. Hi, Joanna. There she sounds familiar. She does sound familiar. <laughs> uh, anybody that's just joined us. Where are we? Oh, that, oh, that was an orb. Something went straight up here then. Okay. Did anybody else see that? If anybody else saw it, just, uh, just yeah, give us a comment. A comment. Definitely see What I'm going to do, because obviously it's to do with children, I'm going to get a little bit lower, so I'm more at a child's height. So, um, Should we sit there then on the floor? Yeah, yeah. Sure it's a bit strange that I'm right next to this. That's a little bit freaky, but there we go. <laughs> Why was it? Um, you put me by the door. No, that's what I'm not putting <laughs> in the door. I'm near a dead body, so you got away lucky there, didn't you? Okay. Yeah, for those that have just joined us, we're in the... <coughs> part of the Jack the Ripper story, Whitechapel, uh, in the Ripper building, uh, we've got access to this, well, it's just an amazing, amazing building, six floors, uh, and they're, they're all um, made up from replica um, scenes from, all connected to Jack the Ripper. On the event, uh, our first event, Haunted Nights, first event, doing this, um, the Ripper story, we've been out for the, for the first hour, touring the Ripper sites, um, just, Oh, an orb's just gone across here as well. If anybody saw that, can you just let us know, please? Sorry, Karen. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just sort of 15, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, walk around, stopping at the known Ripper sites, just really setting the scene and giving the people that live a little bit of background and then coming back to the, uh, the Ripper building itself. Uh, we're here till 3 a.m. Uh, we've got exclusive access for the night. Um, we've got six floors to investigate um, from... Um, the street scene that we're in now, um, the, the, the constable's room in the, the, the police station, uh, what Jack the, Ripper room, Jack the Ripper's room would have looked like. Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, we've got um, one of the victim's bedrooms, what that would have looked like. Mary Kelly's room, set up up, upstairs exactly how it would have looked. Most people are seeing these orbs. I'm seeing quite a few on here as well. I'm not there, just there's, saying this, guys. There's something in there. There's seen nothing. There's there's nothing. Some, no. <laughs> Paul sat next to me, Dave's the other side, right on the other side of the room. Dave, this continuous movement across see, the screen, apparently. Anything, can you? I know, no. I can't see any orbs. I'm seeing it on the screen, I'm not seeing it in person. There's, enough, there's, no, um, there's no lights, there's no bugs, there's no nothing. In, there's no exhaust. There's just, 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 just nothing in the air or anything. So. It's just very quiet yeah. um, from what we can see. So should we call out? Um, while we're mm -hmm. here. If any of you do feel, sense anything while you're at home, doesn't matter if you're far away, you're watching it, connecting um, with us, our energies, please tell us if there's any names or pops in your head, anything like that, please say and we'll call out while we're here. Whoa, oh, that's all right. We'll Ignore ask. me. That was a thumbs up. I thought that was an orb. I just got out of the corner. Right. It was a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, yeah, it, yeah, it, it was. If you, so if you guys do sense anything, get any names, anything like that, that's me, my head. Oh, sorry. Anything like that at all, please, 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 please tell us. Okay. okay. Yeah, already on the, 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 the tour round, we've come down. How many floors have we done so far? This is the fourth floor. Is it third or fourth? Something like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, we've experienced um, a REM pod uh, activated um, at the very, very top. Um, we've had uh, 
tap-ins and almost like footsteps as we stopped on a staircase. That's my fault. Okay. Uh, tap-ins and footsteps. Do it again. Hang on. No, no that, was, that was it. it was, there's like a little curb here, and my yeah, foot just okay. slipped off the curb, so that's probably what it was. Yeah. Um, uh, and again, sorry. Yeah, on the staircase, yeah. we've had um, like taps, cracks, footsteps. Um, wow, that laughing was weird. I'm, yeah. t- I'm telling you, I heard it. Um, when we come into this room, we close the door, we, we heard a noise outside, so we briefly opened the door, and I think somebody... What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that was. If there's anyone here, in this room with us, can you give us a sign now? If that mannequin turns around and fucking looks at me, I'm off. (laughs) You're gonna be behind me. (laughs) Can you make a sound, please, in the room? Tap, tap. If, If you're a little boy, could you tap again? Did you hear it, Dave? Yeah. If you're a little girl, could you make a tap? If you're a lady, could you make a sound, please? Something was flashing up this side of the screen, then the left side of the screen. Could you copy this sound? If you're a man, if you're a male, and you can see us, Please, could you give us a sign now? That rumble in the tube. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. What about Alice? We've got a little girl called Alice here, or a little boy called Toby. If Alice or Toby are here, can you just uh, make yourself known to us, please? Can you just come in and say hello? I saw something there. And it, I don't know if it was on camera. I saw it out the corner of my eye going up here, like... I don't know what it was. Okay, if anybody else has seen, seen these things that Dave's picking up um, in the light, just, just let us know. Just so you know, Dave is about as psychic as a brick. I am as psychic as a brick, to be fair. He yeah. thinks it's all la di da So it's interesting that he's actually seeing yeah, I'm actually seeing the sentence stuff. Yeah. yeah. don't normally. No. Definitely two screens we've heard, haven't we? Yeah. Two, that was definitely One was yesterday. I thought I was trying to work out an owl, but as we were trying to work out... Stuff see, does seem to be happening when we're talking. Yeah, yeah. we all sit silent. Happening. It's like it is silent. So if Toby's here, okay, I'm wondering if Toby or Alice are just outside the door. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask in a minute for the door to be opened and just see if anyone comes in. So uh, how many are you watching? How many are you watching? At the minute, we've got forty. Ooh, right. So, so um, what, forty likes. We did have eighty. At one oh, point. No, oh, right. Good. So, you want to share the page, keep watching. We're not going anywhere. Someone put, keeps in, thinking of police. Is there a policeman there? There's actually, um, I don't know if you can see it here. There's actually a, a mannequin of a policeman looking over me. Well, not looking over me, but I'm actually sat next to uh, that. I'm looking at those two. Yeah. Uh, right, so. <laughs> Thank you, Rich. There's, look at the door. There is a grey like mist. It's quite interesting. That's quite interesting. Okay, sorry, you can see my feet at the bottom of the shot there. Right, so if there is an Alice, Alice, if you're outside the door, sweetheart, or Toby, if you want to come in and just say hello to us, uh, Paul's going to open the door and just, if you want to come in, please feel free to come in and talk to us. We don't mean you any harm. If you want to come in and play, you can come in and play. Okay, so Paul's now opened the door. I don't know if you can see that, but Paul's opened the door. I don't want to put my torch on because it'll be a little bit bright, but basically Paul and Brad are uh, there against the doorway. There's Brad. And there's Paul. Are you there, sweetheart? Can you hear us? Can you run towards us in the room? Okay, I'm going to let the door go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put my torch on in the middle of the room and just see if any of the children want to play with it. So, here we go. I'll just put it there. Stand up right. Right, so my torch is now upright. So, if any of the children want to play with it or stand near it. There's something... There's something coming up from the floor then. There was something... It was almost like a fly, but it's not a fly. But about it, There is something... Definitely, it's just right in front of me. Someone put, did you hear? 
what can you hear? Guys? Yeah. Please always pause. Yeah, Shan, just tell us what you can hear, please. Yeah, tell us what you can hear. So obviously I've left my torch there. I'm hoping if anybody comes near it, we'll see sort of a shadow or a movement or the torch will be knocked over. Any names, days, any feelings, sensations you get while you're watching the video, anything that you link in with, please write on there. Tell us names, anything at all. If you'd like us to call out, please just tell us and we'll, and we'll do it. We're sat here. We're not going anywhere. Till three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning. Right. Yeah, if you're still just joining us, it's... Um, what time is it? 10 to 11. 10 to, we've been on nearly an hour. Yeah, 10 to 11. So we will be, we'll be we'll be doing lives during the night as well. So this is not the, the the only video we'll be doing. We'll be doing another one later on. We've got six floors. That's so actually in Whitechapel, uh, Jack the Ripper Museum, for anyone that doesn't actually know. So yeah, if you just joined us, it's Haunted Nights at the Ripper. Can't see for too long, you end up with piles. Yeah. <laughs> right in the heart of J Jet the River Country. Haunted Nights, as we promised you when we launched this company, we were going to bring you closer to the UK stories, ghost stories, um, actual stories than ever before. That included the Ripper, Matthew Hopkins, the Pendle Witches. Um, where else are we looking at? Pembury Forest. Pembury Forest. Pembury. Um, the most haunted village in the UK, allegedly. Yeah. Ireland. Ireland. Ireland was You've got somewhere in Yorkshire, is it Howard? Somewhere? Howard. Howarth? The Bronte Country. Bronte Country we'll be going to in a couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah. We're at Pendle next Friday, Pendle Hill. A very, very famous uh, Pendle Witch Ghost uh, hunt that we're doing. Him up there. Absolutely fantastic event that we do. We've got the Matthew Hopkins in Essex the next day, which we're doing an interactive ghost walk in Essex and ghost hunt as well. Um, fantastic story. My personal favourite. They had a great time there. I loved it. It was a yeah. brilliant, brilliant location. Brilliant. Someone actually said it sounded like a tapping noise when you opened the door. So I don't know if that's the noise of the door or might be the door creaking. If you can't hear any other voices except ours, uh, the other people are about two floors below us, but obviously because it's dark and sound travels, you may hear them. So um, that, was the that was the door just shutting. Yeah. Before we move on, anywhere in the northeast, guys? Are you doing anywhere in the northeast? Jedburgh Jail. Jedburgh Jail. Jail. I've done that myself. Kill the castle. Kill the castle. There we go. So there's and two for you. A little bit further north, we've got the um, Edinburgh, Edinburgh vaults. And a little bit further, further north Birkenhead. from there. Yeah. SS Discovery, our SS, SS Discovery. Discovery. But yeah, Kilda Castle, and one of my personal favourites. Um, if you've never been, you've got to go Jibber Jail. Jibber Jail. I've done that. I've never done it. That's I've done the it. first time I'll go this week. Yeah, I've done it. Yeah, amazing place. So yeah, we do have some in the North East. Kilda Castle sleepover. Be prepared for a fantastic night at Kilda Castle. Inside um, camping. In, indoor camping. Once we've done the ghost hunt, pick a room, get your sleeping bag out, and we stay there till nine in the morning. Um, so yeah, Kilda Castle, brilliant place. Um, yeah, Jepper Jail, that way. Should we have a wander down then? Hmm? Yeah, we can have a wander down. Should we call out one more? Yeah, because where did you think you heard that scream from? The first one sounded like that. What what we think is a window. Yeah. The second one was outside the door. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, I've tested that. It's not a window. It's, it's not a window. It would just be fake. Yeah. 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 It would just be fake. Because I thought if it was a window, it could have been somebody outside. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's a brick wall. Um, well, there's a building connected to this, isn't this building doesn't stand yeah, alone anyway? Yeah, yeah. So that's actually true. another house or whatever, a brick. Yeah. We might have been having a domestic next door. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll have another victim. <laughs> okay, just before we move on, then um, we'll just do a little bit of calling out. So if there is anybody here with us now, maybe one of the names that we've mentioned uh, tonight, uh, Alice, Toby, Peter. That means. Shh. Did you hear that? That was a... Came, what? what was that? And again there. Uh, there was a... That was here. Cough there. And there was like a, a gulp or a... Something there. That was right here. I Even I heard that. It's always when the, There's a miss by the boy statue, apparently. That's literally that's where I'm waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's quite interesting. So is it is it is it Toby? Is it Alice? Or is it the gentleman of the house, Peter? What about the name John? There's a gentleman called John here. OK, 
Okay, whoever's with us now, we're just going to try one more time. If you can just copy this. They're just at the corner of my eye, yeah. I don't know, this side, it was almost like, you know when you go over the brow of the hill on a hot sunny day, mm. those waves? Yeah. I just got that there. That's quite interesting. That's where someone's reported seeing a mist earlier. Okay. Yeah, it was just like a, a wave went up. Right, all right. That's probably the only way I can describe it, like that, that heat wave heat that you see when you're going over the Yeah, brow. all right. It was, yeah, it was just you got that when you tap, so try and tap again, see if you get that again. Okay, if you're still here with us, you can hear this. Really, really try and do something. Can you show us a, a mist? Can you show yourself to us? Can you walk towards me and Paul? Can we speak to us? Show yourself. Can you walk towards the light in the middle of the room? Stay away from the light. <laughs> Just walk towards the torch. Go and kick it over. Isn't that way impressive? Tap. Yeah, there again. Is that you do it again? Go on. I can feel them on my back yeah, against this wall. Like, actually make it affect anything here that makes it make the Shall noise. Shall down then? Okay. Yeah. Call, somebody's just put J or Sylvia. I don't know if we've got a J or a Sylvia in here. Or a Mary Jane. So if we have any of those, if we have Sylvia or Mary Jane or J in the room, please feel free and come and talk to us. Can you understand them? Do you recognise those names? Can you come and speak to us? Did you live here? Again, yeah. Ask again. Say, did you die here? Did you die here? So you lived here? This was your home? Two or three have been consistent, but often that's how I take direction then. <clears throat> okay, we're going to move on. I think we've got another. Yeah. another I've lost count of floors. I, floor. I think we've got on the fourth floor down. I've got to throw the fourth floor down. <sighs> this is the first floor, so we've got ground floor and then basement. Okay, guys, we're just wandering down the stairs. You may start seeing strange people. But they're just our team. <laughs> Pull that door too. There we go. in a little bit the guys are just down on the next floor this is the sort of ground floor so um it's got a shop at the front where the lovely lady patricia who's looking after us tonight is um we've got the the screen set up now these were the stairs where we were hearing um the, the cracking sounds from um we've got the upper bedroom where the the rem pod was being activated um which one's that one is that the... that's the um jack the ripper's um bed light room Okay, yeah, the, the, the Jet the Ripper room and the guests and team are down there, um, down in the mortuary area. So they're just, just virtually below us. So obviously all the noises that we were getting before, we've got this whole floor between us and they're down there. So we have been, uh, we will be sort of monitoring these um, as the night uh, the night goes on. Earlier on, once we'd set up and we were just having a break before we started, we were uh, saw a couple of um, light anomalies, almost like going up the stairs. Um, at the moment, it looks fairly... Hang on. If there's anyone there, can you show us a sign? Can you flash a light? 
Not you, Kelly. At the top, are you at the top of the stairs? Can you walk towards us? What I think we'll do a bit later on is um, I've got a light beam, so if we put a light beam across there, if anything does go up the stairs, it's going to light it up and it's going to be really bright on the mm. the uh, night vision. It is, yeah. Should we go down? Just say what it's like earlier. Yeah. I'll let you go down first to people can then see as we go down. Okay, guys, we're coming down. Uh, we, are, uh, we are rolling live. We're roaming live. We're roaming live on, on Facebook. Uh, so we're going to have a look at what's going on Something made a noise around here. What? Something just made a noise. Okay, we're. we're... Yeah, no, can you leave it off? Yeah, we just come come down to the. Yeah, basement, aren't we? We're in the basement. Massive way, yeah. Set up as um, what would have been. The... Who coughed? Is everyone's in this room, aren't they? Yeah. That was a cough. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah, that's definitely a cough. Hello? All night we've been hearing groaning, mm. noises, there's a lot of, uh, but it's more, yeah, it's more hearing, speaking visuals, like that, baking and anything. Right, it, it's... Someone put, oh my God, I heard that. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. just our imagination yeah. then. Mm. And unlikely, but did anybody scream? Yeah. What, you did scream? No, we, no, we didn't scream, we heard to scream. Really? No, no. we heard that. Yeah, yeah. We, we, heard heard it, we heard it twice from that day, yeah. but again, there's no windows for her. But it was very muffled, so it was very low, but yeah. it was definitely a scream. It was like, like, a, yeah. like, a, like, a, like, a, like a like a wheeze. And we heard that, that. yeah. It's the same one that we, that we heard. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so we're down, down um, right in the, in the, I don't know if the words bowels, but I don't have the word bowels. Not, not we're in the mortuary now. Um, down in the basement of the, the, the river building, um, and the guys down here have been doing a little bit of calling out while we've been um, up on the upper floors. We've had some stuff happening. This is Kelly. Hi. What have you been doing? So we've just been calling out, and uh, we've had quite a lot going on. We've had the K2 meters go off, and there's more people screaming. We've had whistling. We don't even know. Yeah. We don't even know what. You're not watching our Facebook live, are you? No, no, obviously, no. <laughs> so yeah, we had. I didn't even know that. <coughs> well, cry definitely. It's interesting. Mm. Temperature fall. Temperature drop. That's on the stomach. No, that's that was him. Alright. <laughs> oh, okay. We have a picture of that page. Sixty-six point six. That's the phone affecting that now, so it could cause the blue lights to flash, so mm -hmm. that's not uh, Okay. Yeah. Should we take a quick we're gonna have a quick break. five minute break yeah. before we come back. Um enjoy the commercials. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. Just press it. Time for a coffee. We have him on, you have one more. We'll be back in five minutes.